What's up guys, this is Dennis from SEO bots. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract data from Google Trends in bulk. Before I continue, please support our channel by liking the video. And if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. I spend a lot of time working with Google Trends and I love the tool, but sometimes I need to enter a bunch of information and I would like to extract all of it in one go instead of continuously entering queries and downloading files from Google Trends one by one. So to satisfy my intent, we created a special bot which is called Google Trends Extractor. It works in a really simple way. To use it, you will have to sign up for SEO bots. I will put the link in the description, find the Google Trends Extractor bot and click the start bot button. All you need to do now is fill out this short form and launch the bot. So let's begin. First thing which you will need to do is name your job. I'm going to give it a simple title, trans export. Select the time range for which you would like to export the data. I'll select the past 12 months, which I think is the default on their website. I'll leave the worldwide as the geolocation. And now I need to input a list of my queries. I'm going to paste in a list of programming languages um, uncheck the send email notifications and click the start this bot button. As you can see, my job request had been created and is now transitioned into an active state. While we're waiting for the bot to complete the job, make sure to support us by liking the video. And of course, click subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. I fast forwarded the video slightly, but you can see that it took less than one minute for the bot to complete the job. We can now go ahead and click the view data button. You can see that all of our data has been exported successfully and we can now download it as an Excel, CSV or a JSON file. You can also click here to open this file in your Google Sheets and also you can change the visibility and share the file with your colleagues. Well, this is practically it. Make sure to support us by liking the video. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them into the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.